and good day madam. My name is Yam Zuling, metric number 277148. Here's to come with my presentation video about the business law in event management. There's one article released on 27th of May 2021 regarding on the business events set for more losses on recurring MCO. As you can see, the article stated that Malaysia has gone through various recurring MCO cycle in the first five months of 2021, a move that has caused the local business event industry a billion. The chairman of Business Event Council Malaysia, Alan Pearl, told that there is no end in sight as business events are again facing cancellation and sinkage due to MCO implemented by our Malaysian government. Kuala Lumpur has also certainly lost a very significant amount of business, including some major events such as multicultural celebrations, Rainforest World Music Festival, Urban Scrape and etc. All these major events are usually held annually where able to generate income for the country. The event team tried to maintain the event through postponing, but the MCO keep reoccurring and caused the event to be on risk. According to a 2020 survey by the Malaysian Association of Convention and Exhibition Organizers and Suppliers, business event industry players had experienced revenue losses of 2.25 billion ringgit in a dropping of 90% approximately since the MCO first started. The same survey has also shown a total of 5,610 employees have been laid off since March 2020, which equivalent to 70% of the total industrial workforce. So, let me ask you, do you think that it actually a trade situation towards the event business industry after the attack of COVID-19 pandemic? I believe your answer will be yes. That's the reason why you are still looking at this video, right? In your opinion, what can event company legally do to protect themselves in the future? Alright, let me share some of the tips with you on how to overcome and what can event companies legally do to protect themselves in the future if this happens unfortunately. Firstly, apply business contract no matter in what kind of industry. Business contract is a legally enforceable agreement between two or even more parties where assume a legal obligation that must be completed. In a simple word, it is a legal agreement where the offer must be accepted by both parties that only considerable able to claim the fulfillment in future. Usually, there are some essential elements to be included in the contract so that the contract looks legally, for instance, mutuality, legality, consideration, compensation, policy, genie accent, and termination. There are few types of contract in business field, like formal contract, simple contract, express contract, and etc. They are similar, but most importantly, contracts should be written, formally, agreed, and signed by both parties. Let me give you an example. For the present of lawful consideration, compensation for an event, if we do not have a proper contract, it will cause a losses when it comes to compensation. It is vital to have a business contract as it can make sure your event company is fully protected, which helps to succeed and avoid or insulate from any negative situations. Besides, it used to avoid misunderstanding and refer back to reduce the quarrel if there's any conflict happen between two parties. Therefore, the company right is well protected by the policy stated in the contract. Second, purchase event insurance coverage for each of the events you organize. There are many unexpected issues might occur when organizing an event, such as risk of uncertainty like natural disaster, risk of hazard, participants or even event crew get severe injury, stage and backdrop damage, or even worse is that the event are forced to be postponed or cancelled when probably affected by the pandemic. All these risks are beyond of our control and that's why you, we need the event insurance to minimize the losses. The event insurance is used to protect irrecoverable expenses and lost revenue. Let me give you an example. If the event is covered by the rain insurance, if it is rarely happened raining and caused to delay the event, where it will affect the sales of tickets and numbers of attendees, therefore, the rain insurance will cover part of the unsealed ticket and also the compensation towards the attendees who are unable to do so. Just to remind, the event organizers are also advised to add on the additional insurance, such as event cancellation or third-party damage, especially for those mega events which will contribute much income to minimize the losses. Last but not least, go for virtual or hybrid events. Why I suggest to go for online platform instead of physical events? Do you know that there are some events forced to be postponed or cancelled in form of physical events, like concerning social distancing and crowd management at the initial of COVID-19 pandemic? Therefore, the contingency plan to overcome this issue is to go for virtual events. Virtual events can enable the attendees to participate with one device no matter where they are. Virtual events, most importantly, is just a stable internet connection to smoothen the entire event. If you ask me, the virtual event or hybrid event will be bored compared with physical events. What I can tell you is, as long as the event team strategically plan using the right technology, virtual event can also reach a wider audience than traditional live events. Thus, no need to be afraid of any cancellation or postponement within the event industry anymore. That's all from me. Hope this presentation able to provide you the effective suggestion on how the event company legally do to protect themselves in the future. Thank you.